Welcome, family and friends. As Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the Commencement Committee, I have just received word that the walk has completed. Our graduates are here, and it is my privilege to announce the arrival of the graduating class of 2020. <laughs> Please rise as you are able.
join me in welcoming the official party led by our Chancellor, the Honorable Robert M. Gates. Please rise as you are able for the National Anthem of the United States of America. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful song, Ms. Richard. Welcome, everyone. Good afternoon. Please be seated. Welcome to the second of two in-person commencement ceremonies for the great class of 2020. <laughs> As we come together in fellowship, we remember the resilience and the perseverance of those who came before us. So in that spirit, please join me in acknowledging and paying respect to the indigenous peoples who are the original inhabitants of the land we are on today. The Charon Hakanataway, Chickahominy, Eastern Chickahominy, Mattapanai, Monacan, Nansamond, Rappahannock tribes, Nottaway, Pamunkey, Patawomek, and Upper Mattapanai. 
and pay our respect to their tribal members, past and present. Graduates, you made it. <laughs> It has been so good to celebrate with you this week and this weekend. You completed your degrees under the most difficult circumstances and you are now well into charting your way into the world. Let's hear it one more time for the great class of 2020. Yeah. Woo. Parents and families, we are thrilled to have you back here with us on campus. Thank you again for being so patient, for persevering so well, and for being part of this long-awaited celebration. Welcome. Members of the William & Mary's Board of Visitors, we're delighted to have you bear witness to the accomplishments of our graduates. Please stand and be recognized. And members of William & Mary's faculty and staff, and you are all around this arena, I know wherever you are, you kept our graduates on track to their degrees. That was a challenging thing to do this year. You did it with them as partners. Will you please stand wherever you are in this arena so that we can thank you. Now, for centuries, William and Mary graduates have served in our nation's armed forces with distinction. In May 2020, the United States Army commissioned five William and Mary students. Among the class of 2020 are 123 active duty reserve or military veterans. Would all military personnel and veterans, including anyone in this arena currently serving or who has served, please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you for your service to our nation. William & Mary's Royal Charter of 1693 establishes the position of Chancellor. William & Mary's current Chancellor is the Honorable Robert M. Gates, class of 1965. Chancellor Gates served as Secretary of Defense, as Director of the CIA, and as President of Texas A&M University, which, by the way, just had a great upset yesterday. Uh, and if I sound a little hoarse, that's because I was shouting really late last night for our football team. We wanted to dial up a great game to celebrate with you. <laughs> Chancellor Gates has served under eight U.S. presidents, and he is the only Secretary of Defense to have served under presidents of both political parties. He models the highest ideals of public service that sustain democracy in the 21st century. Please join me in welcoming our Chancellor, Robert M. Gates. To the class of 2020, congratulations. The final paper was submitted and the final exam taken 16 months ago. Unlike every generation of William & Mary graduates that have come before you, the class of 2020 has already begun new jobs and graduate programs. And you've done so at a time when it is hard to see what will happen in the next month, much less the years and decades to come. All I can say is it's about time we got around to celebrating together. That said, I want to tell you how proud we all are of your courage, your resilience, and your discipline during the last part of your senior year. You faced the greatest disruption in the daily lives of all William & Mary students since the Civil War. You came together, you protected each other, you set an example for every college campus in the nation. You should be very proud of yourselves and of your classmates because we certainly are all proud of you. 
parents and families. I suspect that you didn't expect that your membership in the Empty Nest Club would be revoked <laughs> when your student finished their degree virtually. Yet you have much to celebrate and much of which to be proud. To Tom Lovejoy, Donald Patton, and Dr. Anthony Fauci, congratulations on their well-deserved honors. To Rector Littell and the board, thank you for your leadership during this latest test of William & Mary's resolve and particularly for your partnership with President Catherine Rowe. President Rowe, you had no idea when you signed up for this position that you would be steering the alma mater of the nation through the headwinds of a pandemic. You have done so with incredible strength and grace and skill, and you've preserved your sense of humor. The long life of William & Mary has seen people of countless backgrounds begin their own lives of impact here the class of 2020 is unique in many ways, but you still share in this great William & Mary tradition. You, like each alumna and alumnus of William & Mary before you, know that you are destined to make a difference. In fact, you know better than any other class of graduates that it is more than just a common place that binds William & Mary's generations together. It is a common purpose, the legacy of service, of making a difference for our communities and for our country. That is the oldest and greatest tradition of this ancient institution. That shared legacy is what makes this home so special for all of us, so worth cherishing for a lifetime. As you celebrate today, you have already made a difference, and you will continue to do so for our nation and for our world. Congratulations and God bless you. Thank you, Chancellor Gates. It is now my privilege to welcome to the podium William and Mary's rector, John Littell. Thank you, President Rowe, and good afternoon, graduates, family, and friends. On behalf of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, let me congratulate the class of 2020. You completed your degrees under the most trying circumstances. Your resilience, coupled with the commitment and hard work of our faculty and staff, got you to this point. Be proud and ever grateful to those who supported you for this remarkable achievement. Our tradition of granting, of conferring honorary degrees at commencement dates back to 1756 when Benjamin Franklin became the first recipient of an honorary degree from William & Mary. This morning, we conferred honorary degrees to pioneering conservation researcher Tom Lovejoy and former William & Mary rector Donald Patton. Earlier this fall, we conferred an honorary degree to infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci. We have prepared videos about Dr. Lovejoy, Dr. Patton, and Dr. Fauci. After Dr. Fauci's video, we will see his degree conferral and he will give remarks. When I hear the name Tom Lovejoy, the first thing that comes to mind is renowned, distinguished scientist and a gentleman. Tom is the person who, when he gets up in the morning, thinks about others, not himself. He is a person who thinks of what I can do today to help the world be better in the future. And I think that this is what drives him to continue being engaged, vocal, supportive, and a leader in biodiversity and conservation. So before I was 15, I understood the outline of life on Earth, which today we call biodiversity. And I've never been able to get enough of it over the span of my career that biodiversity has been under increasing pressure. So the conservation of life on Earth is a, actually a very central agenda item for humanity. Due to him and his efforts, we have created all these opportunities for the world to be engaged in this issue. 
for universities to conduct research, to bring new minds into this question, and for William and Mary to see uh, our efforts in that area crowned by the creation of the Institute for Integrative Conservation. And that deserves recognition in many ways. So I would hope that each of you, as you go forward from William and Mary and pursue your lives, that part of it will always be anchored in securing a better environment for future generations. Well, my father was a lawyer, and uh, he always told me lawyers have the opportunity to help people who perhaps are unable to help themselves. And uh, I've always felt, ever since I started practicing law, that there would be no better thing I could do. It's kind of in my genes. <laughs> Asbestos does terrible things to people. And Don's firm has specialized in asbestos, uh, knows an enormous amount about it, and thus has been able to truly help a lot of people. The first cases that were taken by our law firm were in 1976. Uh, these were shipyard workers, Newport News Shipyard, you know, a big, big facility down in Newport News. We were able to achieve uh, successes in court. As a result, we've provided our services have provided millions and millions of dollars for people who live in this community. You know, in my judgment, Don has lived the life of very significant accomplishment and a life rich with service to others. During the time that I have been involved with William & Mary, I have come to know and to appreciate the rigorous academic environment. We are a community of excellence, and I'm proud to be a part of it. So I will say in closing, I very much cherish uh, this, uh, this degree. I will cherish it for the rest of my life, and I'll hold it with, with pride and with humility. William & Mary has always stressed the ethic of giving back, whether it's to your community, to the nation, or even globally. And in my mind, Dr. Fauci's career epitomizes public service. My father was born in New York, as was my mother, but their parents were born in Italy and instilled in them the idea that we have to pay back for the incredible privilege of being able to live in this extraordinary society that we call the United States of America which was very influential in my feeling very strongly about service for others. And I thought being in medicine would be a really good way to execute that theme. Dr. Fauci has been the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases since 1984. He's advised seven presidents and steered the Institute's responses through the HIV AIDS pandemic, several Ebola outbreaks, novel influenza pandemics, and more recently, the SARS-CoV-2 outbreak. What you have to realize is that someone doesn't stay in that crucial position for 37 years without being extremely competent and doing an extraordinarily good job. To understand the human species and the things that influence them, the suffering, the pain, the understanding, the frustration, that's all part of medicine. That's all part of how you treat both the individual patient and the disease as a broad phenomenon as we're seeing with COVID-19. I think Dr. Fauci is a seriously committed scientist and health professional. He acts by his convictions and he bases what he advises on the best scientific evidence that he's got available to him at the time. I truly can't think of anybody more deserving of this award at this time. It's an extraordinary honor to be bestowed an honorary doctorate from an educational institution of such high regard as William & Mary.
In March 2020, William and Mary laid out core goals to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Keep teaching, keep learning, keep people safe to the best of our abilities so that our students can stay on track to their degrees and our community can do our part to flatten the curve of contagion and save lives. For the sake of those goals, William and Mary has pulled together for 20 months with unmatched grit and adaptability. The class of 2020 completed their degrees far from alma mater. Your class led the way in the year that has followed in redefining living and working together in your communities. It is fitting that as we come together to celebrate the graduates of 2020, we honor our nation's top infectious disease expert. After we confer his honorary degree, Dr. Anthony Fauci will deliver remarks to the great class of 2020. Anthony Stephen Fauci, your lifelong service as a physician and world-renowned medical researcher has positioned you at the forefront of the United States efforts to combat viral diseases. A native of Brooklyn, New York, you credit your parents and your Jesuit education with your lifelong interest in public service. You earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of the Holy Cross. You graduated from Cornell University Medical College with a Doctor of Medicine. You have said that your liberal arts and sciences background prepared you just as much as your medical degree for your work today because it taught you to understand humanity. In 1968, you joined the National Institutes of Health as a clinical associate at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. You became one of the first immunologists to research HIV AIDS and were one of the principal architects of the president's emergency plan for AIDS relief. Throughout your career, you have advised seven presidents on many domestic and global health issues. In 2008, President George W. Bush awarded you the Presidential Medal of Freedom for your determined and aggressive efforts to help others live longer and healthier lives. Today, your leadership on the COVID-19 pandemic has made you an international household name. You have become one of the country's top experts and trusted medical figures. You are willing to answer questions and speak publicly on an arduous schedule because sharing our best knowledge in times of active uncertainty is a duty of leaders. As White House Medical Advisor, you've used your platform to help the general public understand the science around COVID-19. You advocate for effective mitigation strategies that every individual can take, including vaccination and mask wearing. Anthony Stephen Fauci, William & Mary is honored to recognize your exceptional achievements as a physician, public servant, and world-renowned medical researcher. With the authority vested in me by the ancient Royal Charter of the College of William & Mary in Virginia, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Science, honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Fauci. President Rowe and Rector Littell, thank you so much for bestowing upon me this wonderful honor. I am both humbled and highly appreciative. I feel especially privileged to receive this honor together with this class, whose experiences over the past two years have been truly unique. I also want to offer congratulations to my fellow honorary degree recipients, Tom Lovejoy and Donald Patton. We are celebrating this ceremony much later than any of us would have liked, and I know that delaying your commencement was a great sacrifice for you and for your families. Together, we began confronting the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. We distanced and masked and did our best to protect our health and that of our families and friends. Now, with great advances in science and public health, notably, with highly effective vaccines, we can realistically think about bringing the pandemic to an end. Some of you have already been part of the transformative advances that have been made. To a greater extent than any William and Mary class that graduated before you, you already have engaged in professional life. Your education has equipped you to solve the next wave of challenges that will face our nation and our world. 
I've had the privilege of delivering several commencement addresses at colleges and universities over the years. I invariably have included in these addresses in some manner or form a reference to the fact that I was in your situation many years ago when I graduated from college and then from medical school, and so I felt that I could directly relate to what you have just experienced as a student. Well, that just does not pass muster this year. For what you have experienced because of the profound upending of your lives by COVID-19 is truly unprecedented. Compared to what you had to put up with, I had it easy. No students dating back over 100 years since the historic influenza pandemic of 1918 have had this level of disruption to their lives during their student years. Furthermore, the world that you entered as you left this beautiful campus has changed dramatically. I know that the adjustments you have made in our COVID world are substantial. However, what I have heard of how you have responded to this pandemic gives me confidence that you will adjust and thrive. Grit and strength are words that President Rowe has frequently said to describe William and Mary students. I agree, especially after the conversation early this year I had with President Rowe and student leaders, and after learning more about your class. No doubt, despite the inconvenience, the disruption of plans, the threat to your own personal health, and that of your family and friends, will in the long run strengthen you and provide you with the resilience that will fare you well in your future careers and personal lives. And so, I am especially proud to be part of this class. Thank you, William and Mary, and the class of 2020, and to the graduates, well done. Thank you, Dr. Fauci, for those remarks and for honoring the sacrifices that this class has made for the health and safety of all. Dr. Fauci's long career gives us a model for service to our communities and our nation. And as you've heard today, that ethos of service runs so deep at William & Mary. The class of 2020 has embraced it directly and with commitment. In 2020, William & Mary presented university awards to five students. You can read more about each award recipient in your program. The Lord Baudetot Medal, established in 1772 for the honor and encouragement of literary merit, goes to the graduating senior with the greatest distinction in scholarship. The 2020 recipient is Kristen Popham. Dean Maria Donahue Velica of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences will present the award here. Ms. Popham, congratulations. Not done, not done yet. Kristen Popham graduated with dual majors in government and French and Francophone studies with a near perfect GPA. Her professors describe her as a brilliant and fearless student, a thoughtful research partner, and a compassionate human being. As a student, Ms. Popham worked with Merrimack mentors and also served as a youth ambassador to the Arthritis Foundation. Congratulations, well done. The James Frederick Carr Memorial Cup goes to the graduating senior who best combines the qualities of character, scholarship, and leadership. The 2020 Carr Cup was awarded to Ellie Thomas and we honor her in absentia. Ms. Thomas served as Vice President of the Student Assembly. Her efforts to support debate led the university to create a chapter of the Alexander Hamilton Society. Nominators praise her positive and determined energy to make William and Mary a better place. We're gonna clap for her. I hope you're listening, Ellie.
Our Graduate and Professional School Prize is named for Margaret the Lady Thatcher, who served as the 21st Chancellor of William and Mary. The award goes to the graduate or professional student of outstanding scholarship, service, and character. The 2020 Thatcher Prize was given to Hillary Cody, whom we honored this morning. In memory of Algernon Sidney Sullivan, the New York Southern Society recognizes two students of the graduating class and one other person with close ties for William and Mary for heart, mind, and helpfulness to others. The 2020 student recipients are Cameron Howe and Milka Merid. Dean Donahue Velico will present the awards. Please come forward. Mr. Howe majored in philosophy and served as a president's aide, a civic agency project fellow, an orientation aide, and vice president of Mortar Board. One nominator writes, Mr. Howe represents all that is good about William and Mary, but he also challenges the less desirable aspects of the not so good to better understand the why and so that we can change to become more of what we value. Milka Merritt graduated with a degree in public policy. Ms. Merritt served as a resident assistant, resident counselor for the Preparing for Life as a University Student Program, and a president's aide. She also was one of the first student fellows for the Center for the Liberal Arts. Her leadership has increased inclusivity on campus and improved the experiences of underrepresented students. Congratulations, Mr. Howe and Ms. Merritt. In 2020, William and Mary also presented four university awards to members of the faculty and staff. This morning, we recognize the third recipient of the Sullivan Award, Director of Campus Recreation, Linda Knight. We can clap for her again, because I know you all know her well. We also recognize the 2020 Graves Award recipients for sustained excellence in teaching, Elizabeth A. Allison and Christopher R. Garys. <laughs> Finally, an endowment from the Charles and Ann Duke supports an annual award to an outstanding staff member in memory of Mr. Duke's parents who served William and Mary in many capacities for decades. The 2020 Duke Award is given to Kathleen Morgan. Ms. Morgan serves as an Associate Director for Faculty Personnel Services in the Office of the Dean of Arts and Sciences. She manages matters related to faculty recruitment, faculty hiring, retention, tenure, and promotion, and pay. Ms. Morgan is right here. Will you wave? Ms. Morgan's work on equitable recruitment practices in faculty recruiting has yielded important strides in creating an equitable practice of faculty hiring, and we are so grateful. Colleagues describe her as an exemplary steward of the university's human and material resources, and so we are so pleased to have you with us here today, Kathy. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our student commencement speaker, Catherine Donati. Ms. Donati graduated with a major in English. Yeah. At William & Mary, she served as an orientation aide and a group fitness instructor. She lives in New York City, where she is a high school English teacher. Please join me in welcoming Catherine Donati. Hi. I'm smiling. You can't tell, though. My, how the world has changed since the very first time I sat down to write this speech. Remarkably, though these past 18 months have changed pretty much everything else, I found that my message stayed nearly the same. 
I think that's because every time I think about William and Mary, inevitably, I end up thinking about tradition. And there are two William and Mary traditions in particular that stand out to me, not including Free Hoagie Day at the Wawa, which is a really close third. <laughs> Graduate students marked this day with their very first day of class on our campus. As undergraduates, most of us symbolically walked onto campus for the first time through the Wren Building. Of course, I am talking about convocation. We are ingrained in William Mary tradition from those first few steps and the subsequent 3,000 high fives we shared with strangers. And I don't know about you, but to me, convocation was the first time that I ever felt like I truly belonged somewhere. I didn't feel simply tolerated, but embraced for who I was. And it's that feeling that bonds us all together, both to each other and to this place. You see, we're a community of strangers who all chose to share this really specific time of our lives together. That takes courage. And the community that we forged out of that lump of awkward, sweaty strangers is unlike the community that exists anywhere else. We have some of the bravest people I've ever met right here. We have the first generation students who forged their own traditions with every single step they took on this campus. We have students of color who stepped into an environment that until one of the most recent chapters of our 328 year history told them that they were not welcome. We have non-binary students who are rewriting the code of not only how we relate to each other, but understand and define ourselves. We have the scientists, the scholars, the lawyers, the artists, the councilmen, the OAs, the canoe battleshippers, even the B-schoolers. <laughs> we are all what sets this community apart. And yes, other universities have honor codes and communities of trust. You can leave your laptop in the library on other campuses as well, I'm sure. But if you think our community ends at respecting personal property, you aren't looking close enough. I don't know if it's because of something in that historic tap water or whatever is growing in the creme d'elle, but this community is something that we can only find here. It is our legacy. And it is in the vein of that legacy that we came together in light of what the kind among us might call the gentle marring of our final semester. And what I might, in front of President Rowe and my grandparents anyway, call the complete and total interruption of well-laid plan. If we were doing synchronous lessons over Zoom, giving us all a kind of voyeuristic peek into the high school decor choices of some of our peers, or getting alum Pat and Oswald to join a Zoom call, or creating a mutual aid spreadsheet that reached across the entire university system, our community came together in a time of unprecedented need. We did that, graduates. We embraced each other across virtual lines and a separation that none of us ever anticipated. I am so proud of us for continuing to stand in the legacy of William Mary in that way. President Rowe once said that as students here at William Mary, we are not just taken care of, we take care of each other. That responsibility is something that each of us takes up as we walk onto campus during convocation and I think is the best possible contribution we as a class and as a community can make to our world as we leave this place again. That's the real tradition of William Mary, the care. And caring can and does look like tough love. Sometimes it looks like taking a hard look at this place and forging new paths, striving to make changes that we know will set the next class and the endless ones after that up for the greatest success. Because we have all seen just how beautiful this community can be. And I have yet to meet anyone who has ever stepped foot on our campus who isn't eager to preserve that for the next generation. The first tradition I mentioned was convocation. The second tradition I think about is the exact opposite. It's this right now, I think about commencement. I think about what it will feel like to symbolically walk off of this campus altogether the last time. Luckily or unluckily, depending on your own personal brand of philosophy, we've already done that. We have been out in the world since our names walked across that PowerPoint screen on May 16th. We were forced to say our personal goodbyes to this place, but now we're back. I can think of no better way to illustrate just how much this community will stand the test of time and serve as a beacon of light and of home for us. 
I can think of no institution with a better pedigree for surviving tragedy and emerging stronger on the other side. And we are now an integral part of that. I can think of no place I would rather have prepare me for the journey of what is to come than the place where I got to learn from my peers what it means to care for each other and for myself and what it means to be brave every single day. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Donati. Those are true and ringing words that we are going to remember for a long time here, as we will this class. In March 2020, we knew that we would celebrate together. We didn't know how, but we committed that we would because we know how much this matters. Like everything under pandemic, this ceremony is different. We're returning to a past tradition hosting commencement in Kaplan Arena. Some parts are new, uh, commencement during homecoming and reunion weekend, current students cheering for grads on the walk across campus, of course, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, you're familiar with that. A really fantastic football game, a three-day party, that's what we dialed up. All of us are different now, though. All of us are changed than who we were when we were last together here. In her book, Imagine It Forward, alumna and entrepreneur Beth Comstock writes, we must become change ready, that is fearless, perpetually ready to re-envision, rethink, and redefine, redesign. We often imagine that change readiness is a process that we choose to take on, that it's intentional, that it's purposeful. But the reality is that there are times when we are called to change because our families and the nation and the world need us to, and we do. Over the past 19 months, the class of 2020 has come to understand what it means to be change ready, has risen to that forced change. We've adopted a mindset that takes nothing for granted, not spike ball in the sunken garden, not the joy of celebrating with classmates at commencement, we do not take those things for granted. We've discovered that you can reimagine the future, starting new jobs and grad programs, advocating for change in your organizations and communities, and you've cultivated a sense of duty to others. And I wanna pause on that lovely old-fashioned word, duty, that recognizes the impacts of individual choices on the good of the whole. This class is a national class in a way that others have not been, and I wanna give you just a few stats to let you know what you started. This last year, when you were out in the world, William & Mary students developed a practice of mask wearing ubiquitously. We did a study with the CDC in the spring, 10 weeks, 500 observations on campus every week, and 100% of the William & Mary students observed were wearing masks, and most of them correctly. 100%. You set us on that path. You set the bar high. We do know, we do know that you did that, and that you have set the bar high for the future going forward. This year, 98% of our students are vaccinated and they wear masks so the other 2% is protected. You set us on that path. So there is no way to account for the number of people whose health was protected by making the choice not to have commencement in 2020 and to try to flatten the curve for our community but we do know that by adapting to remote learning, you did help flatten the curve across the nation, and you have set the bar high on the path that we are now on. We don't know what the path out of pandemic will look like, but we are grateful to you for setting the bar high for care for others in that way. At the beginning of the pandemic, Milka Merritt helped me rethink what we were doing together. She told me that it was not 
that it was not about studying from home that was so difficult. It was not about remote learning that was so difficult. It was that we were finishing the semester in quarantine and isolation. We had pivoted incredibly fast with a great deal of strong shared purpose, but completing college in quarantine challenged every dimension of learning and community building, and it required all of us to be vulnerable and to persist. In our very first community conversation, Abhi Chada said that even though we're not physically on campus, this community exists, and you made that so. For the first time in this university's history, William & Mary is going to present a gift to the graduating class to mark the Ren bell ringing, your return, and the fact that we knew that return would happen. We held it in our minds and imagination for 20 months so that we could be here now. So we're, we've created a pin for this class. It depicts the Ren bell. Thank you for ringing it so loud over the last five, three days. This pin distinguishes you from every other William & Mary class by calling out the gains that you made and that you made for this university. Boldness in the face of uncertainty, mindfulness about the things that we cherish most, and a deep duty, sense of commitment to service. We are so glad to finally be celebrating with you and we're getting there. <laughs> it is now my great pleasure to welcome Provost Peggy Gurris to the podium so that we can can now begin what you have been so patiently waiting for, in-person conferral of degrees for the amazing class of 2020. Thank you, President Rowe. In May 2020, William and Mary graduated the sixth class from our joint degree program with St. Andrews University in Scotland. Graduates, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Graduates received the St. Andrews portion of their degree, becoming full alumni of both universities. Graduates of the joint degree program with St. Andrews, please stand. Please be seated. Thank you. Membership in honor societies at William & Mary demonstrates exceptional pursuit of academic excellence. Please stand if you have been inducted to Phi Beta Kappa, Mortar Board, Omicron Delta Kappa, or Beta Gamma Sigma. Please be seated, thank you. There are 1,623 candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Deans will recognize graduates by major. Then ushers will dismiss candidates to come forward to cross the stage. Lawrence B. Pulley, Dean of the Mason School of Business, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. There are 185 candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration in the class of 2020. Most of them participated in the ceremony this morning, but there are some here this afternoon. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration please rise as I introduce your major and then be seated. Accounting. <laughs> fi fi thank you, finance. <laughs> Marketing. Thank you, business analytics. Thank you, candidates who are with us this afternoon, please come forward as your name is called. Tessa Michelle Beckert. 
Sheila Marie Hill, Marketing Hispanic Studies, cum laude. Joshua Zinger, Marketing English, summa cum laude. Margaret Ruth McCarty, Business Analytics. Julia Elizabeth Lancy, Marketing and Government. Alexis Gail Gossam, Marketing, Film and Media Studies, magna cum laude. Kyle Nicholas Gittens, Accounting, summa cum laude. Jake Kish, Business Analytics. David Alejandro De Leon Fernandez, Business Analytics, Asian and Pacific Islander American Studies. Cherry Chen Wang, Finance, summa cum laude. Maria Donahue Valeca, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Sciences. There are 794 candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and 644 candidates for the degree of Bachelors of Science. We recognized many of these candidates this morning. I will call all Bachelors of Arts and Bachelors of Science majors for the class of 2020. Candidates, please rise as I introduce your major and then be seated. There are many majors and minors that we will, do, that we will call, and so I, I ask that the applause be held until the end. Africana Studies. American Studies. Anthropology. Art and Art History. Biology. Chemistry. Chinese Language and Culture. Classical Studies, including Archaeology, Greek, Latin, and classical civilization. Computational and applied mathematics and statistics. Computer science. Economics. <laughs> Elementary education. English, environmental science and policy, film and media studies, French and francophone studies, gender, sexuality, and women's studies, geology, German studies, <laughs> global studies, including Asian and Middle Eastern studies, Asian and Pacific Islander American studies, European studies, Latin American studies, and Russian and post-Soviet studies. Government. Hispanic Studies, History, International Relations, Japanese Studies, <laughs> Kinesiology and Health Sciences.
linguistics, mathematics, medieval and renaissance studies, music, neuroscience, philosophy, physics, it, it, it turns out physicists get up early in the morning, so they, they were here earlier today, um, psychology. Public policy. Religious studies. Self-designed majors, including data science. Sociology. And theater. And now we can all clap. <laughs> Would all candidates for the degrees of Bachelors of Arts and Bachelors of Science who are with us please come forward as your name is called. Kelsey Jordan Vida, Government English Magna Cum Laude. Katherine Ann Herthel, IR, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Abong Thinka Singh, Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. Keaton S. Lee, Government, Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah C. Chen, Chemistry. Delaney Flash, International Relations. <laughs> Carrie Jean Stevick, International Relations. <laughs> Taylor Nicole Oots, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Yutan Shi, Psychology, Economics, Cum Laude. Alejandra Santander, Government, Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kaylin Grace Ilioterio, English, History, Cum Laude. <laughs> Carrie Patricia Vornador, Government. <laughs> Marquise Ezekiel Stewart, Government. Ji Wu Han, English, summa cum laude. Angel Enrique Martinez Alfaro, International Relations. Samuel Patrick Dyer, Chemistry, magna cum laude. B. Shirazi, Religious Studies. Farnaz Shirazi, Public Policy. Haley Marie Phelps, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Spencer Case Gilbert, Government, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Emma Lachlan Butler, Environmental Geography, Government, Summa Cum Laude. Zai Logan Madrano, Economics, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Anthony Mark Waltrich, Economics. Harrison Tate Schwartzchild, History. Elizabeth Ann Dowker, Art and Art History, Cum Laude. Davidson Norris, French and Francophone Studies, Art and Art History. Clara Grace Poteet, Art and Art History, English, Summa Cum Laude. Mark Frederick Charbonnet, 
Sociology, summa cum laude. Cameron Elijah Howe, philosophy, summa cum laude. Kaylee Miranda Doyle, neuroscience, cum laude. Elijah Janette Webb, art and art history, anthropology, cum laude. Anna Kashmanian, biology, environmental science. William Andrew Urig, Africana Studies, Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies, cum laude. Georgia Borgarelli, Psychology, summa cum laude. Samuel Labison, Geology, summa cum laude. Varun Vivek Desai, Economics, summa cum laude. Emily Michelle Dole, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Alessandra Therese Scholey, Classical Studies, Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. Robert James Colley, International Relations. Paulina Farley Kuzmina, International Relations, Cum Laude. Carter Lewis Treesdale, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. Huming Cao, International Relations. Emily May Pierce, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Christian DeLinge, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Marguerite Byrne Norton, Organizational Behavior, Magna Cum Laude. Sophia Kellogg, Government, Cum Laude. Marissa Olivia Lemma, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Virginia Weitzel, Psychology, Hispanic Study, Summa Cum Laude. Lucio Ann Butler, Anthropology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Carrie Sumner Byrne, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kate O'Connell McEgan, English. <laughs> Emily Saylor, Government, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Morgan Elizabeth Paragard, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Jonathan David Nichols, Government. Julia Carlson, Leadership and Social Innovation. Anne Caroline Petro, Government, Cum Laude. Sophia Claire Kidd, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Fridley, Government. Catherine Marie Heller, Government. Christopher David Elsner, Computational and Applied Mathematics and Statistics, Summa Cum Laude. Allison Christina Brown, Government, Environmental Science and Policy, Cum Laude. Laura Elizabeth Beamer, Neuroscience, Cum Laude. Claire Elizabeth Schlick, History. Nicaria Coquilara, Biology, Public Policy. Luke Dominic Pascal, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Pavelski, History. Alexa Marie Meunier, Geology. Ryan Timothy Walter, Geology, History, Cum Laude. Brady Norris Pitts, Geology, Cum Laude. James Joseph Card, International Relations, French and Francophone Studies, Cum Laude. 
Alexander Hayden Michaelia. Government, history, summa cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Melton, anthropology, magna cum laude. <laughs> Brendan Carnell, history, chemistry, cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Lambert Donati, English, magna cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Casputis, English, magna cum laude. Michael Henry Williamson, English, cum laude. Jessica Abril Amaya, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Psychology. Tessa Payer, History, Theater, summa cum laude. Michael Eskender Tay, Economics. John Michael Scott, Government. Kevin Thomas Moose, History, Marketing, Magna Cum Laude. Anushka Ananti, Government. Zaira Adin Mughal, International Relations, Summa Cum Laude. Bianca Navarro Bauman, English, Environmental Science and Policy, Cum Laude. <laughs> Riley McCann Dugan, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Emma Grace. Emma Grace Hines, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. <laughs> Lila Joan Rossi, Anthropology, Sociology, Summa Cum Laude. Mary Catherine Albertson, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Keon Quante Barat, Government. Alan Martin, Asian and Middle Eastern Studies. Anna Maria Gleason, Asian and Middle Eastern Studies, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Anglekey Ross, Art and Art History, Cum Laude. Cassandra Davenport, Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. Madison Miller, Psychology, Cum Laude. Brian Patrick Donahue, Chinese Language and Culture, Summa Cum Laude. Athena Zakarakis, International Relations, Summa Cum Laude. Marina Victoria Slosher, Government. Malena Kaya Almedica, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. Luke Anthony Benino, Government, Cum Laude. Joseph Edwin Dowell, Government. <laughs> Lucas Tyler Ede, Economics, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Monica Denise Burgos Flores, Philosophy and Economics. Gloria Cruz Aleo, History. Meredith Marie Lian, Psychology. Gabrielle Rigo Ramirez, International Relations, Chinese Language and Culture. Sarah Virginia Elam, English, Magna Cum Laude. Victoria Elizabeth Reese, Mathematics, Economics, Cum Laude. Shrena Mandava, Psychology, summa cum laude. Seth Patrick Fitterer, International Relations, cum laude. Isabella Grace Hoyos Lobain, International Relations. Williams? Nina Parker Wilms, History, European Studies, summa cum laude. Alexandra Marie Pacheco, Government Hispanic Studies. 
Robert Wise Oldfield, Jr., Economics. Angelina Rosalie Olson, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Benjamin Tucker Russo, Government. Andrew Benoit Brennan, Economics. John David Kearns, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Cameron Michael Bray, English, Cum Laude. Jacob Clayton Manville, History, Cum Laude. Zachary Donald Lofton, International Relations. Cassandra Jade Cooper, International Relations. Isabel Grace Cullinane, English. Lincoln Hartnett, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Matthew Preston Jacoby, Economics. Alexis Marie Dorsey, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Meredith Diane Barber, History, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Joanna Nicole Schroeder, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Christina Marie McBride, English, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Michael Smith, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Priyanka Sidhu, Kinesiology, Health Sciences, Summa Cum Laude. Autumn Lee Brenner, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Bethany Lynch Cantor, Chemistry. Thanks. Rebecca Tosini Deach, Chemistry, Cum Laude. <laughs> Helen Cassandra Caruso, Government, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Margaret Aline Perry, Molecular Medical Anthropology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Christian Krabs, Theater. Emily Lynn Flack, Theater, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Patricia Johanna O'Meara, Psychology, Music, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Zachary Ross Schiffman, Chemistry, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Lauren Mary Brown, Neuroscience, Magna Cum Laude. Evelyn Elizabeth Gibson, Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Rose Young, Economics, Cum Laude. Lauren Elizabeth Smith, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Riley Ariel Danielson Cohen, Psychology. Cheyenne Joe Curling, Psychology. Zachary Michael Hassan, English, Cum Laude. <laughs> Tabitha Juanan Patasina Pagan, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Africana Studies, Cum Laude. <laughs> Jasmine Garn, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jaquea Monet Williams, Africana Studies. Victoria Carolyn Ateno Reynolds, Self Designed Architectural Studies. Maap Ahmed Elabib, Kinesiology, Health Sciences. Lauren Jane Mahler, Public Policy, Cum Laude. Ruwa Al Akazami, International Relations. Marin Kate Lynch, Government. <laughs> Luann Motley, Neuroscience, Cum Laude. <laughs> Daphne Marie Sink, Chemistry, Cum Laude. <laughs> Madison Brooks Coleman, Government, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Savannah Grace Jones, Geology, Psychology, Cum Laude. 
Brendan Patrick Doyle, Government. <laughs> Alyssa Megan Grayshock, Psychology, Linguics, Cum Laude. <laughs> Aiden Daly, Economics and History. Jesse Lauren Williamson, History, European Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Kumal Tuban, International Relations, Cum Laude. Jennifer Fiedler, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Nicholas Elias Ovedo Torres, Government, English, Magna Cum Laude. William Grayson Pettis, Government in Environmental Science and Policy. Jenna Chapa, Kinesiology, Health Sciences. Theodore Richard Annunziato, Neuroscience. Mike James Shepard, Economics and Government. Edward Joseph Millman, English, Magna Cum Laude. Lillian Rose House, History, Religious Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Caleb Edwin Atkins, Computer Science and Philosophy. Ryan Patrick Hansen, Economics, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Ann King, Chemistry, Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Jacob Andrew Larson, International Relations, Summa Cum Laude. David Allen Groff, Psychology. Ayush Joshi, Computer Science, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Grace Freire, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Alish Claire Bova, English, Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude. Zachary Ellis McRae, History. Sunita Gunesh, Government, History, Summa Cum Laude. Sophia Mercedes Schaff, Government, Romance Languages. Elizabeth Ann McKay, Mathematics. Caroline Marie Larson, Public Policy. Sophia Margaret Sternberger Sheely, English, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Ann Jaggers, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Morgan Nicole Tompkins, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Erica Elizabeth Bukhari, Business. Daniel DeButz, Government, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary Nyland, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Magna Cum Laude. Henry Larkin Young, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Caleb Talafair Rogers, Public Policy. Paris Lubsig Ball, Commercial Strategy and Fine Arts. Matias Alejandro Preti, International Relations. Daniel Richard Mines, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Evan Rush French, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Maxime Legro, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Daniela Lorraine Superlano, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Johanna Weech, International Relations, Hispanic Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Patricia Grousseau Armstrong, International Relations, Sociology, Summa Cum Laude. Lydia Ann Dolvin, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude.
Luke Henry Campopiano, History, Philosophy, Summa Cum Laude. Philip Groats, Neuroscience, Hispanic Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Rivera Silva, Psychology. Kara Gasparoni, Anthropology, Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. Chang Ja Ung, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Samantha Cooper, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Diana Grace Ibera, International Relations. Lori Michelle Horning, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Grayson Thomas Cox, International Relations, Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Dina Bashri, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Josh Daniel Stead, Economics, Cum Laude. Carson Grayhill Bland, Economics. Colin Patrick Murphy, English History, Summa Cum Laude. Hunter Bruce Hall, English, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Grace Radcliffe, English, Summa Cum Laude. Calvin Richard Colby, English. Leonore Galena Taylor Gay Grave, English. Cameron Keith Miller, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Kobe Maximilian Arndt, Philosophy. Thank you. Jacob Lawrence Lair, Computer Science. Danielle Ann Batterman, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Maximilian Fritz, Government and History. Tiana Daly, Hispanic Studies. Audrey Hogue, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Maria Mackenzie Schulz, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Afton Grace Wilson, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Matthew Treehub, Psychology. Cassidy Lee Goodwin, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Summa Cum Laude. Amanda Wong, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Anna Evangelina Lujan, International Relations. Henry Blackburn, Philosophy and Government, Cum Laude. Cameron Yangtier Horst, Biology. Bethany Wasilek, Psychology, Cum Laude. Stuart Williamson, Government. Allison Estelle Luckett, Government, Cum Laude. Susie Bay, Public Policy, Summa Cum Laude. Mia Bell Lott, International Relations. Alexandra Farhe, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Maisie Suzanne Sapnar, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Haley June Ulrich, Government, Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies, Cum Laude. Tasia Denisha Coleman, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Saxton Edward Cruz, Chemistry. Caroline Elizabeth Curry, Sociology, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Sophia Gabrielle Brodnax, Government, Africana Studies. Adriana Trigo, 
Women's Health and Public Policy, magna cum laude. Kristen Lynn Popham, Government and French and Francophone Studies, summa cum laude. Joseph Cronin, Psychology cum laude. Joshua Chang, International Relations. Hannah Marie Ullman, Anthropology, cum laude. Gabriella Montedeca Riviera, English, cum laude. James Richard Lynch, Chemistry. David Reeves Trot, Computer Science. Alexis Elizabeth Ann Brender A. Brandis Trot, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Jessica Wakelin, History, Religious Studies. Larissa Carlin Simpson, Neuroscience, Cum Laude. Carolyn Hemholtz, Chinese Language and Culture, Summa Cum Laude. Suhita Roy, Biology. Nicole Marie Adia, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Bingling Wong, Psychology, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Wenji Pan, Economics, Cum Laude. Jacob Ryan Devers, History and Government. Grant Hunter Nuttall, English, summa cum laude. Tyler Lane St. Michael Cox Filia, History. Samuel James Fortune, Government, cum laude. Can you say it? Min Yi Pan, Economics. Catherine Isabel Hamilton, History, summa cum laude. Caitlin Catron, Government. Elizabeth Ladd Holmes, Philosophy and Government, Magna Cum Laude. Leah Jane Dikshinsky, American Studies. Christopher Balbo, Psychology, Kinesiology, and Health Sciences. Yuka Kuahara, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Nora Monroe Hunt, English, Cum Laude. Joshua Emmanuel Kwabena Owusu Koromora, Chemistry. John Tynan Doherty, Economics. Julia Bland, Linguistics, Summa Cum Laude. Colin Daniel Demers, Government. Elizabeth Michelle Martin, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Paul Daniel Marcelli, Neuroscience. Andrew Fritz Runke, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Nazar Ostapenko, Economics. Bailey Scott Harlow, Psychology, Government, Cum Laude. Shana Madeline Greenberg, Government and Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Charlotte Tedford Flower, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Claire Elizabeth Peterson, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Marie Jones, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Cum Laude. Carly Sims Eldridge, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Logan Alexandra Bishop, History. 
Elizabeth Garrett Vanaz, English, French, and Francophone Studies, summa cum laude. Alexandra Susan Egu, Psychology. Claire Dooley Galvin, Sociology, Environmental Science, and Policy, cum laude. Susan Brady, English. Kelsey Shea Syrak, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, summa cum laude. Leslie Irene Weber, Psychology, Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies, summa cum laude. Miriam Ida Sameki, Sociology, magna cum laude. Ulia Shunel Gowell, Government, summa cum laude. Sanu Francesca Lal Trail, Self-Design, Behavior and Culture and Organization, summa cum laude. Esther Elizabeth Tai, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, magna cum laude. Genevieve Patricia Thomas, Economics, cum laude. Hababo Gina, Economics. <laughs> Madeline Karis Yee, Economics, summa cum laude. <laughs> Renee Catherine Garrow, Economics, summa cum laude. <laughs> Maxwell Nathaniel Sacker, Economics, cum laude. Lee Emerson Kalnane, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Mateo Florencia Gomez, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Karina Tavares, Psychology. Charles Curtis Henry, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Megan Nicole Perdue, History, Cum Laude. Jack Spencer Ellenberger, History, Magna Cum Laude. Deirdre Lewin, Economics, Public Policy. Julia Cole Montgomery, Government. Charlotte Grace Kowak, Psychology, Cum Laude. Elsa Lorenz Chinberg, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Public Policy, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Jane Bass, Public Policy, Summa Cum Laude. Caroline English Horrigan, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Cayetano Coronado, History. Dennis Michael Tadillo, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew David Golder, Economics. David Golden Nato, History, Magna Cum Laude. Quinn Monica Arnon, English, Summa Cum Laude. Juliana Jeanette Lickey, French and Francophone Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Chloe Amanda Abara, Geology, Summa Cum Laude. Maggie Pendleton, Data Science. Gus Norbaum, Government, Cum Laude. Jack Jeffrey Helms, International Relations. Carl Adam Lasker, Public Policy, Summa Cum Laude. Kyle Kenneth Van Hoy, Anthropology, Summa Cum Laude. Campbell Ann Shorman, Government and Data Science. Juliana Mitchell, Government, American Studies, Cum Laude. 
Grayson Charles Fusaro, Government. Jonathan Nunez Hernandez, Government. Carter Gregory Mathis, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Elise Marie Brickhouse, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Elizabeth King, Mathematical Applications of Architecture, Art, and Art History. Avery Taylor Boyce, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Gabrielle Andres Canciobello, Government. Nicholas Dylan Larson, Government. Jared Britt Ford, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Kyle Alexander Kelly, International Relations. Andrew David Cowan, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Stephen Socrates Anton, Public Policy, Cum Laude. William Curtis, Public Policy and Sociology. Jonah? Yeah. Jonah, or Jonah? Jonah Paul Finkel, Neuroscience, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Liam Joseph Watson, Government Religious Studies. <laughs> Emma Ann Rogers, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ethan Maxwell Grove, English. Arjun Fisher, Film and Media Studies. <laughs> Elliot N.J. Kim, Chemistry. <laughs> Tanner Pearson Brayman, Chemistry, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Michael Haynes Charlton, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Thomas Lyons Lascara, History and Government. Kendall Robin Branham, Neuroscience, Cum Laude. Angela Rose Yost, International Relations, Cum Laude. Marie Elizabeth Murphy, International Relations, Summa Cum Laude. Esteban Bermudez Bermudez, Economics, International Relations. Phoebe, Phoebe Holiday DeVito, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Baisu, English, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Armstrong, Art and Art History, Cum Laude. Morgan Ashley McCarthy, Government. Tara Elizabeth Clark, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. Grace Ann Amato, International Relations, Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Riley, Public Policy. Sydney Carol Lyles, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Summa Cum Laude. Milka, Milka Mered, Public Policy. <laughs> Savon Wells Dixon, Psychology. <laughs> Taylor Nadine Nome, Psychology, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Cum Laude. Aaron Thompson Howe, Government. <laughs> Caleb William Turner, Government, Film and Media Studies, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Faisal Al Alami, History, Government, Cum Laude. <laughs> Madeline Samantha Blazy, International Relations. Jennifer Reed, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Andrea 
Elizabeth Maris Zarade, Self Design Applied Technology, Cum Laude. Aaron Celeste Turbeville, Anthropology and History, Summa Cum Laude. Rebecca Alicia Polish, English and Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Rahul Patel, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Cameron Jean Poland, English Government, Magna Cum Laude. Shannon Fallon Bittner, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Rachel Cooper, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Elizabeth Zink, Psychology. Catherine Mary McCutcheon, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Rachel Christine DeMasters, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Caitlin Rose Bregulio, Kinesiology, Health Sciences and Psychology. Sullivan Ray Bolden, Psychology. Hannah Keith, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Magna Cum Laude. Oliver Gaynor, International Relations and Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Nicholas Riddle Rosso, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Jessica Grace McHenry, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Magna Cum Laude. Claire Newhad Utiu, Kinesiology, Health Sciences. Raquel Elise Bijani, Government. Anna Van Leer Dorsey, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Magna Cum Laude. Michaela Lee Munkus, Psychology. Elizabeth Lee Acors, Neuroscience Cum Laude. Amelia Louise Biering, Psychology. Brooke Guydash, English History, Cum Laude. Ramet Ramini, Government, Public Health. Howard Joseph Byron Charles, Psychology and Government. Emily Spencer Owens, Art, Art History and Psychology. Lauren Antonia Sasseville, Government, Middle Eastern Studies, Cum Laude. Caroline Healy Bosch, Psychology and Global Education. Brianna Lark De La Espriella, Public Policy. Alexis Dominique Bailey, Public Policy. Ferdison Cayetano, History. Angela Luis Rafals Tianco, Psychology, Government, Cum Laude. David Fernandez, Asian and Pacific Islander, American Studies. John Patrick Paletki Canteros, Asian and Pacific Islander, American Studies and Finance, Magna Cum Laude. Electe. Thank you. Ahida Esmeraldo Campus Palacho, English and Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Hannah Bahia Liebman, Classical Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Leah Beth Griffith, History. <laughs> Yashasvina Ramesh, History, Neuroscience. Shannon Mary Lewis, Religious Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Joel Stewart Calfee, English, Hispanic Studies, Summa Cum Laude. 
Arian Bindare, neuroscience, cum laude. Rebecca Weinberg, government, Latin American studies, summa cum laude. Renee Marie Wayne Leiden, government, summa cum laude. Eleanor Louisa Pushier West, art and art history, magna cum laude. Alyssa Luz Rica, neuroscience, summa cum laude. Maya Far Henderson, sociology, summa cum laude. Stephanie Catherine Lodico, government, magna cum laude. Aria Kristalin Kana Trupi, international relations. Brenna Joan Dockertree, neuroscience, summa cum laude. Kayla Michelle Little, psychology. Austin Marshall Bussey, sociology. Samantha Bassiar Rio, kinesiology and health sciences. Brooke Ann Miller, English government, magna cum laude. Emily Marion McManus, psychology. Maggie Elaine Ashmeyer, music, English, summa cum laude. Maria Evans Schwarz, American Studies, summa cum laude. Bianca Estelle Kakamo, Psychology, Kinesiology, Health Sciences, summa cum laude. Brooke Lokalani Reese, Psychology, Film and Media Studies, summa cum laude. Elena Naila Reed, Psychology. Claire Grace Denny, Public Policy, Cum Laude. Rachel Carolyn Shearer, Economics. Evelyn Grace Nims, English, Summa Cum Laude. Elia Anita Ruffin, Psychology. Evangeline Shea, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Sejel Dehuan, Neuroscience. Sonali Shyam Shirali, Neuroscience. Angela Goyle, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Hallie Nichols, Kinesiology, Health Sciences. Virginia McCullough Kitchen, Government, in art, art history, cum laude. Sarah Grace Wilkowski, English and Japanese Studies. Catherine Wade Desern, Theater. Kelsey Patricia Marshall, International Relations and German Studies, cum laude. Clara Marie Stebbins, Psychology. Austin James Miller, Psychology. Monica Hannah Marr, Linguistics, Magna Cum Laude. Margaretha Aboe Moore, English, Summa Cum Laude. Morgan Magnuson, History. Catherine Marie Brownfield, English, summa cum laude. Catherine Edmonds Monfalcone, Psychology, Elementary Education, cum laude. Joshua Stephen Aftel, International Relations, summa cum laude. Sarah Madeline Bailey Seuss, Linguistics. 
Elizabeth Keegan Sutherland, International Relations, Russians and Post-Soviet Studies, summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Lynn Cooper, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. <laughs> Madeline Rose Myers, Linguistics, summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Jinghua Yang, Public Policy, summa cum laude. Kelsey Jean Short, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Arian Gabrielle Concepcion, Economics. Stephanie Marie Zielinski, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Clark Wells, Chemistry, Cum Laude. Cassandra M. Heyman Shroom. International Relations Psychology, cum laude. Moira Kelly Johnson, Government. Victoria Christine Gonzalez, Kinesiology and Health Sciences and Public Health, magnum cum laude. Claudia Marie Sanchez Bieto Johnson, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Psychology. Camunto Manera Lord Maragia, Psychology. Samantha Diane Falk, Psychology, Art, and Art History. Caitlin Alexandra Dietz, Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. Jia Ching Pan, Art and Art History, Cum Laude. Raul De La Guardia, International Relations, Economics. Fahim Rahman, History, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Gabriel Trujillo, Letterer, Government. Matthew Francis Warshirer, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Eric Michael Osinski, Geology. Eric Mark Newby, Geology and Computer Science, Summa Cum Laude. William Stewart Moore, Government, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. Jonathan Vincent Tandal, Economics, Data Science, Cum Laude. Raul Ignacio Ortega, Psychology. Justine Ashley Smith, Government. Caitlin Noel Mason, Sociology. Claudia Ferrero. Aya Campo, International Relations. Jayla Elise Watkins, Neuroscience. Sophia Rose Guglielmo, Kinesiology and Health Sciences, Cum Laude. Kelsey Brooke Thomas, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Williams Perez Mareda, Economics. Karan Gupta, Government, Cum Laude. Guy Rahat, Mathematics and Classical Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Eileen Richard, Film and Media Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Sydney Elise Walker, Psychology. Alyssa Celeste. Featherston, Latin American Studies. Sophia Altamirano, Economics. Samantha Elizabeth Pitts, Government, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Ann Faison, Kinesiology and Health Sciences. Amanda. Maltavo Bermud, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. 
Louisa Wren Jansen, Government and History, magna cum laude. Justin Trevor Bias, Psychology. Armand Scott Jones, History. Samuel Isaac Andamariam, Economics, cum laude. We have a number of members of the class of 2020 who are here virtually with us, and we'd like to read their names, of course, as they are a part of your class and a part of your ceremony. Garrison Adams, Janelle Alino, Taylor Applewhite, Luke Amon, Madeline Bellissimo, Audrey Bell, Emily Bernhard, Danielle Brown, Caroline Burns, Heather Byram, Raul Gutierrez, Raul De La Guardia, Caitlin Depew, Allison Donnelly, Chijo Duan, Allison Edwards, Moses Farley, Jacob Ferreira, Megan Ford, Jenna Gallberg, Megan Gillen, Owens Giordano, Catherine Maxine Green, Samuel Jesse Huffman, Norman Hill, Adam Thomas Kearney, Madeline Kelleher, Taylor Lombardo, Luann Motley, Novalyn Miller, Holden Mershon. You can see we're going alphabetically, we're getting through these. Alexandro Osipenko, Caitlin Pasek, Alexandra Pacheco, Rong Chin, Salma Rashid, Parker Reynolds, Andrew Scarafile, Lauren Schreckenghost, Tanner Shane, Emma Silverman, Keisha Smith, Chris Stathopoulos, Michaela Street, Matthew Struther, Avery Torres, Olivia Wood, Elena Venable, Gabrielle Villegas, Bethany Wasilik, Gabrielle Westergren, Stuart Williamson, Sabrina Willis, Renata Wilson, Sihan Yang, Amanda Yannette, Xu Zhang. Madam President, I present these candidates for baccalaureate degrees. Would all the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please rise as you are able? By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Visitors of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Arts, or Bachelor of Science. I welcome you into the community of graduates and professionals well prepared to think critically, to solve problems collaboratively, and lead positive change in our communities, states, and nations. Congratulations! Woo! Yeah. Okay, please be seated. We're getting close. William and Mary prepares public school teachers to serve the Commonwealth and the nation. Would the graduates who have received teaching certification please stand and receive our thanks? Yes. And William and Mary has a global reach. Would all of our international students and those who studied, worked, or served abroad during your time at this university please stand? <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Now, please join me in welcoming Marilyn Midyet, Chief Executive Officer of the Alumni Association and William & Mary alumna for the class of 1975. 
Thank you, President Rowe. We're almost at the end, so let's give one more boisterous round of applause and congratulations to the class of 2020! You're joining a remarkable and an invaluable network of more than 100,000 alumni strong, welcoming you to our ranks with love, respect and gratitude, confident in the contributions and the promise you bring to the world. Embrace this network and be an active participant. Join your local alumni chapter and always wear your green and gold proudly. Return to campus often for homecoming and reunion weekends and make it a point to get involved. Don't hesitate to use those contacts for networking, friendship, and fellowship. And most importantly, please come visit us at the Alumni House, our beautiful new home we just dedicated on Friday. It is your home, away from home, and we hope to see you there often. Okay, now graduates, the final act. Please stand and join me as we recite the Alumni Creed, which will appear on the screen above me. When you entered, there was an alumni pen on the card on your seat. So take the pen off the card and after we recite the creed, so wait until after we recite the creed, please place your pen on your hood on the satin part. It will be difficult to put it on the thick part. You ready? All right, as a graduate of William and Mary and as a new member of the William and Mary Alumni Association, I pledge to uphold the university's standards of honor, community, service, and tradition. I will support and cherish the ideals and values of William and Mary, encouraging others to do so as well, no matter how far from Williamsburg life takes me. Congratulations again to the class of 2020! So, just a few more, a few more tasks before we can declare the longest session in William & Mary's history, the longest academic year completed. As you head out to make this world a better place, please show your care for the staff and volunteers who made this weekend possible and clean up around you, everyone. There are blue recycling bins all through the arena. We're going to sing the alma mater. On the last verse, the William & Mary Maces will pass from the 2019 to 20 elected leaders of the undergraduate and graduate student bodies to the current student body leaders. Please rise as you're able and join the choir in singing verses one and four of the alma mater. There are lyrics on page nine of your program.
The maces have passed, and in a moment, the platform party and faculty and graduates will recess out of the arena. Faculty marshals will lead the graduates, recessing by rows and exiting out of the back of the arena. And audience, this is a perfect time for you to take photographs. I ask that you remain in your seats while the, the uh, graduates process out. As president, I officially declare that the 2019-2020 session of William and Mary is finally concluded. Are you ready?